A range in Kotlin allows us to specify a range of values. So here I'm specifying a range of values from 1 to 5. I'm saying if the i is in within this range of 1 to 5, then print the value yes. Otherwise, print the value no. And so if we were to change this to a let 12 and rerun this, we would see that the value of 12 because i is not within this range of 1 to 5. We could also say for j This will give us a range, very much a for loop variable now. So we can say print ln, so jn zero to 10. The range again is zero to 10. This is the range that we're working within. And so we can say j. And when we print this, we're gonna see one through 10 printed down here. Now again, this is, if you're familiar with the for loops inside of Kotlin, you can also provide stepping. So I might decide to say I want to step by two, meaning that instead of incrementing the value of one for the J counter variable, it's going to increment by two. So it's basically in this range from zero to 10, I want you to execute something. If J is within that value, execute some code. So from zero to 10, and then I want you to make a step of two, which is we're gonna see down here, iterates from zero to two, to four, six, eight, ten, 10. And so, Every once in a while you will use ranges, and of course these values can be variables, etc. So this is a very simple implementation of how you can use ranges to count inside of Kotlin.